Um, this is the lecture about coolest projects. So if you didn't want to hear that, you're in the wrong room. I'm Dero. I'm Daria. And I think we, we can start. OK. We are presenting the cool project done by Wikipedia chapters in the past year and a half. Um, this is to show you um, the coolest projects. We will discuss what, it, what does cool project mean, uh, which are done uh, with a low budget. It's important. It's, by our definition, we'll show you a cool project cannot be done with a great uh, budget. The idea is... The idea is that every chapter, everybody in the room can do these cool projects in your own country. This is to inspire you, to give you ideas, and all these projects are doable. If it's something that's too big, then it's not in the lecture. So um, let's, let's begin. These are not all the Wikipedia chapters projects. These are not all the Wikipedia chapters. These are only the projects that the chapter who answered our questionnaires uh, were sent to us, and the project we considered to be cool and low budget required. Oops. Okay. Technical problem? Yeah. Okay. Again, to emphasize, only some of the projects which were sent to us. If your chapter did not send us a project, it's obviously not here. And considered by us to be cool and low budget. So, first question is what is cool? Cool is a big word. Cool is a really big word. <laughs> uh, what, so what makes a cool project? Every year we ask the chapters what do they consider cool project and we put up the best answers. This year we have two answers which we consider the best. The first one is by Wojtesz. Wojtesz, a cool project is new, brave, cost efficient and fun to talk about. And if you want to know how we chose the projects of the one sent to us, it must be uh, confirming with this definition. New, brave, cost efficient, and fun to talk about. If it's not fun to talk about, it's not cool. <laughs> and the, every year we get, always get the best definition from Claudia, from Austria. So I always have her definition. This is a new definition. Motivate existing volunteer, inspires newcomers, partners, created added value, and foster collaboration. So we have collaboration with external bodies and collaboration within the movement. So these are two parts that every cool project must have. Cool projects in 2016, meaning projects that started January uh, 2015, not before that. It might be cool, but it's not in our presentation. So we're starting with editor tones. We're starting with Austria. This was supposed to be an animation. It's not animated. Okay. Um, they were supposed to be dancing. Oh well. <laughs> um, Wikipedia for Peace, Austria, a two-week project organized as a work camp, a cooperation of the Service Civil International Austria and Wikimedia Austria. In the course of this work camp, 12 people from different parts of Europe came, and different languages, came for two weeks to Vienna and write articles about peace. Um, the participants were mostly not Wikipedians. They were newcomers to Wikipedia. So Wikimedia Austria organized um, helpers from Austria to teach them how to edit, and online bodies in their own language to assist in the editing, and facilitated this by providing with the books and the online uh, resources to write the articles. We see where the participants came from all, all over Europe. And what's most impressive in my eyes is 80% women. This is closing the gender gap and writing articles at the same time. Deserves the applause, yeah. We see the results here. 55 new media files, 11 articles, a lot of bytes, 11, 11 new editors. That's a lot when we had 12 participants. That's really a lot. Um, some of the topics that they wrote about, you can see here, asylum seekers, masculinity and feminism in Bulgaria, humanitarian missions, etc., peace museums. Again, more results. And, okay, our next project. Is Outreach, uh, a really wonderful uh, project, in my opinion, uh, involving senior citizens writing in Wikipedia, Czech, Czech Republic. 
Um, working with senior citizens is very, very hard. I tried to do it a number of times. Most of the time, I failed miserably. Um, why do we want senior citizens to uh, edit in Wikipedia? Because uh, they have an, an awful lot of knowledge. The problem is they uh, usually lack computer skills a bit, obviously I'm generalizing, and have a difficult time learning. Uh, what makes it a great challenge to teach them how to edit Wikipedia, if you can actually be successful, such as they were in this project, uh, it, becomes it becomes amazing. These uh, Wikipedians become active Wikipedians uh, that are really, really successful. So that's why we're investing our time in, uh, in teaching them and they were actually successful, which is very hard. Um, now, they did it very wisely. They learned from their mistakes. They tried to bring crowds in by emailing uh, people, by uh, putting notices in senior citizens' uh, organizations, um, and none of these were successful. They finally were able to find a good way to do it. They brought a, um, celeb a celebrity, Professor Jan Sokol, who really drew in the crowds and they came, uh, came to learn how to edit, uh, teaching them with an awful lot of patience, obviously. Um, basically, uh, n not, uh, not, not really old uh, people because they usually don't have the computer skills, usually, obviously. Mostly people from 55 to 65 about. Uh, they had over 160 participants until now and more than 100 new uh, Wikipedia articles. And now each one of them uh, is a huge potential to continue writing. Um, uh, Voitish tips are don't do everything yourself. Uh, get other people to help you out because you can't do everything yourself and uh, other people can really add extra value. Um, any told me how did I know my project was good? We were all enthusiastic about it. Uh, and enthusiasm is really important here because it's a really challenging mission and they were able to do it amazingly and getting amazing results. So, very cool project. Our next project is from New York, the AfroCrowd project. This is a project aimed at increasing the number of people from African descent who are active in Wikimedia projects, Wikipedia, free knowledge, free culture, free software projects, um, and free software movement in general. Um, last year we talked in this lecture about the propagation of coolness. A cool project results in other cool projects in different countries or the same country. And that's what makes it cool and that's why we do this. We want all these pro projects to be done again and again in different countries. What's, what I like especially about this project, that it started from a cool project presented here last year, not in this room, but in this lecture, the cool project lecture, uh, the Black Wiki History Month, which was a month which editathon took place all over the United States, one of them in the White House, and this results, resulted in a lot of people uh, sensitized for this uh, cultural gap, like a gender gap, and wanting to partake. And this resulted in this cool project. So this shows that, um, it proves that we know what we are talking about when we tell you you can do these projects and it's resulting in more cool projects. Um, you can see here some of the results, the article cre created. A lot of articles out of this project, which is great. Uh, okay, so our next project is Art and Feminism. Um, yeah, it deserves you, applause. You can, you can applaud. Very nice. Um, Art and Feminism is a worldwide project. It's, uh, oh, we have even representative here, it's wonderful. Um, it's a worldwide project. As its name indicates, it's about arts and feminism, shockingly enough, uh, about art, uh, about women, about women, uh, about women artists, uh, and trying to encourage more women writers, which is uh, is very important. They chose a model that works. Uh, we we are in chapter trying to do a lot of different things, and a lot of things don't work. But they found a successful model. They choose a topic that's interesting. Uh, that's kind of general, such as if you choose painting, most of people will be able to find at least one artist artist that they would like, and they can relate to that. 
And also they're capable of uh, organizing a really pleasant atmosphere, a very supporting atmosphere. And that's how uh, this project works and it really encourages women to, uh, uh, to edit. Uh, another thing that's really nice about this project is it involves artists and curators and they can create uh, collaborations with other, or other parties and that led them straight to the MoMA, which is the uh, Museum of Modern Arts in New York. Uh, now, in general, uh, about 75 projects were or, uh, uh, or not uh, uh, workshops uh, done. Um, more than four new, oh, 400 new articles were written. Another 500 were really improved. Uh, they did uh, an event in the MoMA. Uh, 200 participants, mostly women with some men allies. Um, it, it was a very, very successful event. Uh, they had uh, scholars and librarians and curators, all which are really, really important because they all have a huge amount of knowledge. Um, and they did it in a few, in a, a few locations at the, uh, the MoMA, like uh, the uh, Time Warner, uh, Time Warner uh, Theater, the Mazin 9 level, sorry if I'm saying the words wrong. Um, and uh, you had a new, a newcomers uh, volunteers and they had uh, ac experienced Wikipedians to help them out. It was a very positive experience. Uh, and more than 40 new articles were written in that, uh, in that event. Uh, these are a few of the events that they had. Each one of them is in a really nice, uh, very well-known place where that can lead to extra uh, collaboration. Um, and now we count this project, especially in the MoMA, as a success not only because of its results, but because it, it, it created um, a collaborative spirit. Uh, people joined new projects spontaneously, people joined work teams, people got a really, really good positive uh, feedback from everybody. So they had a really big impact. Our next project is uh, Let's Fill the Wiki G a Gender Gap uh, from Switzerland. Now this uh, project is actually very interesting. It was started by the University of Geneva. Now we're at a point where uh, a lot of, we work with a lot of universities, but usually it's Wikipedian approaches the university and say, say let's do a collaboration. Not everybody in the universities know exactly how to handle Wikipedia, uh, but we're, it, now it's changing. They started, they initiated this project because they noticed that there were um, a lot of uh, articles that were um, missing from uh, the French Wikipedia and they wanted to write them. So they mandated uh, people to write those uh, articles. Um, they had three sessions. Each session was about uh, six workshops. Um, no, nope. sorry. Um, yeah, no. They had uh, they had uh, uh, sessions. They gave lunch. They gave a certificate for the people who uh, participated in. It was a very official uh, event. So uh, they took it very seriously. And since we're not initiating it, the university is initiating. It's very very uh, unique. Each session had about 20 or 30 new uh, contributors uh, uh, to join Wikipedia, which is a lot, as you know. Um, each session, each session had uh, a few. Uh, each session had a few workshops, and the last one, they shared their experiences in joining Wikipedia, and, and they uh, each one told about the article they wrote, and they had a very meaningful experience. Uh, just for the record is uh, also a project in Belgium. Now, this is the fun part about writing, uh, about doing this presentation. Because we tell you, be inspired, do these, uh, do these projects in your own countries. Well, we didn't have to wait. They were inspired by the arts, uh, art and feminism project that were done in, uh, in Belgium, and they shortly afterwards started it. Uh, so, it, as we said a few times, you can be inspired, 
uh, and do these projects, they're really, really great. Uh, now, they s started in January 2016. Uh, they addressed the gender gap in their own way, the more the merrier. Uh, they wanted to understand the bias in uh, Wikipedia, so they, they studied the, uh, the bias in social network. Uh, now, if you go into the project, you see whole lists of uh, resources and references. So you have all the information you need going in. And that makes a really positive difference. Each uh, event, they brought uh, somebody from the academy or from an organization to talk about the gender gap. And uh, they had a very speedy uh, editing session, a very speedy teaching how to edit uh, Wikipedia. And then they had the whole day to work on uh, writing and improving articles uh, about women. Uh, as we said, you can uh, take this project and do it in your own country. So that's really good. Okay, our next project is from Oslo, from Norway. Um, Wikinoble, a collaboration between Wikimedia Norway and the Nobel Peace Prize Committee, writing articles about the Nobel Peace Prize winners and nominees. Um, usually what happens is you have a declaration, who are the nominees, and then a declaration, who are the winners, and everybody goes immediately on Wikipedia trying to see who are these people. And if you don't have an article, it's an embarrassing for Wikipedia, mostly. This project is aimed at having a good articles about these people shortly after the nomination. Uh, it's a collaboration, so first of all, Wikipedians are invited for the ceremony. And then they sit down and immediately writing articles using, using the resources of the Nobel Peace Prize Center. Um, 14 articles were written within an hour, which is a great number for a very short time. And as I said, it is a collaboration. What's pretty cool, the staff of the Nobel Peace Center, here we see the executive director, actually sat down and wrote some of these articles, which, which is great. Um, uh, this is a project from Israel, the uh, People P uh, Picture Project from Israel. Uh, it's a very straightforward uh, project. We're trying to get pictures uh, of people that are already in, uh, have a Wikipedia article on them, and they don't have a picture or have a really bad picture. Um, so our volunteer, the volunteers go and talk to people in an organization and say, please either send us a picture or we'll go and take, uh, take your picture ourselves which is what usually happens. Um, now, the nice thing about it is we take their picture so uh, we can get really good pictures of them. Uh, they can tell us where they want the picture to be taken. They can uh, get fixed up a little bit and put on makeup or fix their hair or... Uh, some of these people, because they're very important people, have a picture in Wikipedia, but the picture has them in the middle of eating or uh, in making a face or pictures that are not really flattering and uh, we're giving them an opportunity to choose the way we, they want to take the picture and uh, they can even add value to it. The first picture is of Meir Uziel. He's holding a book of poems that he wrote and now he's really happy about this picture because he was able to choose the way we took it. So that's very meaningful for them. Uh, more than 100 pictures were taken. All of them are in Wikipedia articles now because they didn't have pictures uh, other than those at all. Uh, now this on the side, you have Sivan Ravmeir when she was 14. Sivan Ravmeir is a very well-known anchor woman and journalist in the leading uh, TV channel in Israel. Uh, so obviously they wanted a picture of her in uh, her uh, article in Hebrew Wikipedia. Not this picture because she's 14 years old and the picture is really fuzzy and horrible. Um, now, I looked, uh, when I uh, was studying about this project, I looked in all of, uh, all of the anchor women uh, uh, journalists in, from that channel, and all of them had the world's worst pictures ever, uh, either 14 or in the middle of eating or making a face or anything. We got really good pictures. You can see her, pic uh, her new picture now. She's really happy about her new picture in Wikipedia, they all are. And making organizations really, really happy leads usually to a further collaborations, uh, which is really great. Uh, our next project is no municipality 
in Spain without a photograph from Spain. Um, it, basically, it, they're trying to hunt for pictures, usually of uh, smaller municip municipalities that don't have a picture at all. Now, these are the municipalities you really want a picture because you're touring, you're, you get to a place, you actually don't really know where you are, you really need the picture and information, it comes in handy. So they really, all the places should have a picture and that's their, uh, that's their goal. Uh, June uh, 2015, uh, 2, uh, 2,239 municipalities didn't have a picture. That's a lot. Uh, now, um, people are taking pictures all over the world. Uh, all of the chapters have picture projects, as we even mentioned some of them. What makes this project cool? Uh, they started competing spontaneously. Uh, they uh, basically they posted a list of the municipalities in the website and, and somebody said okay I took four pictures and the other person said yeah but I took five pictures and then another person said yeah but I drove a, a, to a really farther location and took a lot of pictures there and they started competing amongst themselves now they don't have any points they don't have any scores there's no prizes there was no reason to start competing but they did uh, now uh, this is called gamification. It's the hottest word in the industry nowadays. And they're using it in Wikipedia to get more pictures, which is really amazing. Uh, more than 1,800 pictures uh, were taken of places that were never taken, never got a picture before. Um, and because they applied to smaller regions, uh, they really caused, it gave them a local pride they established connections with the smaller municipalities. In one case, even the mayor stepped out of his office, took a picture of the building, and gave it to us, which is very, very nice. Okay, our next project is from the Netherlands, Project Natur. Project aimed at stimulating people to add content, including uh, files, pictures, to Wikipedia and other Wikimedia projects, uh, which are related to nature. This was done using editatons and mostly by collaboration with various nature bodies in the Netherlands, um, which led to several mass uploads of many images held by these bodies. What we have here are great tips which are good for any such collaboration, not only for nature projects. So um, these are really good tips. You should apply them to any project to make them cool. If you want to start these kind of projects, don't expect big results in a short time. These things may take time, so be patient. Um, it's important to find the right collaboration, the right organization to work with. And by building this good network and activating the volunteers of this organization, you will reach better results. Um, especially if these organizations have mass uploads and you just come to them and convince them to upload all the pictures. Um, Another nearby project is from Belgium, Writing Week Brussels. It's a two weeks, double week writing, uh, double week writing, uh, again, I'll try this. A double writing week aimed at getting, gaining a better coverage of Brussels on Wikipedia. This was done in collaboration with libraries, universities, and several editatons were held. This is the schedules of the meetings, and notice several things here which made this project really successful. First of all, the dates are very uh, consecutive. You have several events the same day in different places in different hours. This is very hard on the volunteers who need to be in several places. You need more volunteers, they need to work harder, but it's much easier for the people coming to participate and would get better results. You see that the hours are mostly in the afternoons, but there are some mornings, so it was very flexible for people to come and edit. Um, a great result, 400 new articles, 50 strongly improved articles, and a great tip by Romain, just start. Contact various organizations and see what happens. If you start, it will work. And that leads us to another project, Cultural Language Preservation, uh, from Australia, the Nungarpedia. This is a project about the Nungar language. Uh, which I haven't heard about before I learned about this project, but it's apparently a very old, one of the longest continuous in use languages in the world, 50,000 years old language. Um, this presented various 
great challenges for the organizer to doing wiki projects in this language. First of all, it's an oral language. All the culture is orally, and now they are putting it to writing, thus preserving it for the future, um, which is also very cool. But it's also a breakthrough. This will, the success of this project will lead, will open the gate for 300 more indigenous Australian language just waiting to enter the wiki world and enter the Wikipedia world. And the success of such projects shows the other languages that this is possible. Um, cultural heritage, glam. Wiki loves theater, collaboration with theater. These are really rare. It does happen in several countries, but in most countries it doesn't happen. And, and it should, because in collaboration with theaters who has a lot of media, or allows the Wikipedian to take pictures during plays would result in good quality uh, materials that can be used in many articles, not just articles about the theater company or the theater building, but also article about the playwriters, the plays, the books, which the plays are ba based upon. Um, the result of this collaboration with the Tereji, I hope I say this correct, theater released 284 photos from premiere performances of their most popular play, really good pictures. Um, our last projects, we have classification for each project, LAM, uh, outreach, language preservation. This one fits several, so I didn't know how to classify it because it works with all of them. It meets up community empowerment and education. So it's a cool project in all these categories. Wikiclub Armenia, this is a club is a room with laptops. Every school usually have a computer room. So this is the room they use. And they chose communities where you already have one active Wikipedian. And he is in charge of the club. He goes to the class and he teaches the students to learn how to edit Wikipedia, Wikisource, or Wiktionary. And you have a wiki club. The students come once in a while and enjoy their time at the club writing articles. And the Wikipedian is the co coordinator of the wiki club in his residential area. And the results are amazing. 70% of the students at a certain, at, in these villages learned how to edit Wikipedia. So imagine a country where 70% of the people know how to edit Wikipedia. This is a huge number. And then you ask the diff difficult question. What is the retention number? How many stay as editors? From what we understand from Armenia, 35% of the people who went to this club stay as active editor, which is, if you have been to the last session about education, the average worldwide is usually 2% to 5%. Here we are talking about 35%, seven times more, which is very cool. Now we get, I always end this lecture with an inspirational quote, nothing has ever been achieved by the person who says this cannot be done. This was said by Eleanor Roosevelt, and this is true for all the projects we've presented today. Now we reach the fun part. We need to choose the coolest project. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to invite the jury, we're going to show you the three runner-ups that we chose, and then you're go to vo going to vote by clapping. So, um, the, the, nom the jury will be the representative from Austria. Wikipedia for Peace. Yeah, so please, please come, come. Up here. And you can clap him, of course. Um, wait, wait. This is not clapping for the project. This is clapping for the guy. Our next project is Armenia Wiki Club. Susanna, please and come. Wiki Noble Norway. Ah, uh, please come. Somebody from Oslo. Okay, you so these are our three runner-ups. We are waiting for the jury members. Um, All of the projects are amazing. Uh, we chose this, these because we thought these are uh, with the greatest impact, uh, more interest, uh, most interesting. And the most and fun to talk about. Yeah. That was one of our criteria. Now it's time to vote. So we're going to go by the slides. You're going to clap your hands as loud as you want for the one you think is the coolest projects of the year. Starting with Austria, Wikipedia for Peace. Okay. Our next one is Wiki Club Armenia. Okay. And Wiki Noble Norway. Okay. 
now okay. we need to discuss this a second to see who the yeah, winner is. <laughs> this is time for you to think of questions. We have time for one or two questions for each of these projects, and we have the people who did these projects here for you to answer the question. So if anybody have a question for a project, raise your hand, and Daria will go with the mic. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming to you with the microphone. Okay, question. Just tell the name of the project first, so we know who can answer. Okay, it's to uh, Armenia, and um, what I wanted to ask was, was the purpose of this to uh, develop the research abilities of the children? or to create a, a body of Wikipedians going forward? Oh, you need the microphone. So just come here and answer, very briefly. We're running out of time. We want to, uh, to use the power of Wikipedia for education in Armenia. It is uh, powerful, and all students, uh, even if they haven't time, they uh, continue uh, um, uh, editing. And uh, because of Wikicamps, they have a goal to come to Wikicamps too. <laughs> That's why they all time go. And we have just uh, um, ambassadors in regions. Uh, Stay here a second. I want to thank, thank everybody who answered the questionnaires. We don't have time for more questions, I'm sorry. And uh, all the photos, thank you. credits. Uh, and we I have a film, if you have time, about Wiki Clubs. <laughs> we have a video. Okay. We will enjoy you. And ask Susanna to stay here because the winner for the coolest project for 2016 is Wiki Club Armenia. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is to remind you that I mean, Susanna's project was also coolest two years ago, 2014. <laughs> so well he does done. amazing work, so it deserves uh, clapping. Thank you. Amazing work. Thank you. And all of the projects were really inspirational, and please use them. And uh, if you do, when you do, we'll put you on the screen next year. Thank you very much.